Hello friends, I am Ankit and welcome to my channel. I am here with my daily predictions and analysis for US 30 and US 100. What a day yesterday it was. As I said, by the dip was a call and for US 30 specifically 35,800, 900 zone to 36,300 was the call specifically it achieved and for US 100 to 15,900 was the call it achieved. I hope you all profited. Now, we are going to look today a big day because the inflation numbers are getting released in 30 minutes from now. Whether the candlestick charts Tell us in advance that how the markets are going to behave or it is the news which will impact the market's movement today. We are going to look with the help of candlestick charts and indicators, the analysis and the numbers. Do watch till the end. I will give you the levels to trade for. First US 100, then followed with US 30. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can stay tuned with the latest analysis. Nowadays, I have started a new series that is precisely 12 hours before this video. I release the futures forecast, the markets forecast for US, Europe, India and gold and silver. It helps us in understanding how the markets are going to behave throughout the day. And then I I end up with this video before the US session. So do watch till the end. Let's start with US 100 first. US 100 right now trading at 15875 levels. And let me take you to the 4 hour charts. On a 4 hour charts, you can see that <coughs> now after this drop, uh, let me show you more simplistically. If you cut this in two half, you can see this is a perfect symmetry till now. And two things which are possible, either you consider that it has come towards equilibrium and possibly take a drop from here. But if it breaks 15,920 levels, definitely it will land towards 16,200. It will cover this gap, this big candle, It will the price, it might try to fulfill this liquidity gap and hence 16200 can be achieved if it goes past 15900 maybe if not today maybe tomorrow but it might try to achieve this on a 4 hour chart probably hitting this zone first target will be at around 16040 then 16100 and then it will lend towards 16200 now if it goes past 15920 definitely that is the time i will suggest you to go long below 15920 i will expect it to drop also look at this now let's have a closer look Taking the closer look, you will find that now on the closer look, you will also find that this is also a liquidity gap. A big bullish candle was there. And if you divide this into symmetry and it fails to break 15,900-920 zone and dropping from here, failing, dropping below 15,800, specifically 15,840, then you can consider this that it might try to fulfill this liquidity gap also and try to hit back in this zone towards 15650 and 15600 levels so this is a, taking the closer look what i am trying to say is this but also if it breaks 15920 zone then probably it might rise sharply also you should see this three candles the highs are well connected and hence that is what i say if it breaks 15900 920 zone definitely a strong big green candle will appear taking it towards 16,000, 16,100 and far, farther levels also. Also if it breaks this zone at 15,800 definitely a sharper candle towards 15,650 will appear which might take it towards 15,600 also. So this is on the 4 hour charts. Let's have a look at the 3 hour charts. Similar formation on a larger time frame. <clears throat> also look at this. See this is the nearest reversal and you will find that this is a narrowing triangle. The highs are trying to limit. Hence, markets are trying to, uh, the lows are well connected. Higher lows is indication that markets are bullish. However, the highs are not that high which it has to happen. The delta of this gradient, the slope of this line is reducing and hence it is a narrowing triangle. So, a breakout has to appear. A breakout candle has to come forward and hence now if it breaks 5970 16000 definitely it will try to hit back again here at 16200 plus plus levels and on the flip side if it breaks 15800 definitely it will try to take it sharply towards this zone first at 15500 uh, possibly it might try to achieve again so we will be watchful of this i expect that it might complete this reversal on the larger time frame where we might see it hitting 16200. So we have seen 4 hour, 3 hour charts. Let's have a look at the 2 hour charts. On the 2 hour charts, see till now, after this, 
a little consolidation this is a breakout candle failing to go past 15900 920 zone if it goes past 15920 definitely a strong candle will appear which will definitely take it towards 15 uh 970 16000 and then beyond that 16 2000 definitely might get achieved on an early charts on an early chart see this is trying to consolidate also look at the slope higher highs also look at the slope and hence now it if it goes past 15970 that is what i had shared 15970 once it breaks definitely that is the time so 15920 after that 15970 and after that it will fly definitely towards 16100 16200 zone probably 16200 plus plus can be achieved so it is trying to consolidate waiting for breakout on an early chart ascending uh, the slope is positive and hence a positive breakout a positive candle might appear a green candle might appear on the flip side breaking 15800 definitely that is the time one can go short on the daily charts let's have a look on the daily charts so on the daily charts how high this can go still we have room if it continues to rise from here maybe with the help of data maybe with the help of it might try to hit back again towards 16 300 zone and achieve this and possibly might try to drop from there that is what we can so because uh this is what is the channel in which it is trading right now and hence if it goes past 16200 16400 can be seen in this uh, on the daily charts so 16200 after that 16400 can be seen and then it might try to drop again completing and trading this in this channel breaking 16500 it will again head towards 17000 levels or so but that is too far what is nearby we can have a look at it if you look at the daily charts i had told yesterday that it will definitely try to achieve this zone it did and now the candle has already seen the tail out there however we have to find out whether it goes past by 15920 and then 15970 or not after that it will directly land towards 16200 and then 16400 uh, can also be seen but whether it will happen in a day or not that is the question and whether it will happen today or not that is the question right now it appears that uh, 15920 970 definitely it will break and probably it might try to head towards 16200 also is possible and if it drops below 15800 780 zone we can again see it coming towards 15700 then 15 uh, 500 can also be seen now let's have a look at the indicators what does the indicators are suggesting look at the indicators here indicators trying to get some resistance from here at around 15920 levels and you can find that top is almost restricted at this zone after that directly it will head or cross past once 15970 is taken then 16020 and then 16200 will appear on the charts on the downside 15 uh, 700 then 15500 might provide to be a good, good support and if you look at the look at the dpo is trading in red probably it might try to enter in green with a couple of bullish moves now look at this look at the stochastic the black and the red line are divergent the variance is almost hitting at the bottom probably today again it might try to give a bullish candle and the divergence may appear then the then couple of red candles and we might see a drop again later look at the macd lines on the macd lines on the flip chart flip side you will find that they are curving together as i said previously in my uh, previous analysis also here this crossover may appear and then it will head into a bullish zone hence that uh, if it it coincides with our theory also that if it breaks 16500 16600 zone once again it will head towards 17000 directly so possibly if macd line crossover synchronizes with the bullish mode definitely 17000 can be seen in the coming days but let's not go so far let's come back what is going to happen today and rsi is comfortable let's have a look at the 4 hour charts on the 4 hour charts you will find that see how beautiful it is getting resistance from this line 
and you will find that 15900 920 definitely might provide a stronger resistance than 15970 after that it will fly towards 16020 and then 16100 can be seen on the cars on the downside it might get some support at 15750 and 15700 zone below that it might try to break heavily towards 15600 and 15500 levels and dpo and the 4 hour charts have gone green look at the 4 hour stochastic and it's on sell side uh, the red line has crossed over above trading above the buy zone and probably it might try to take it down and hence any break below 15800 definitely very good level to go short and expect 15750 15700 then 15600 and then 15500 directly probably cooling down the stochastic it is overbought hence a little cooling is required but at the same time MACD lines have crossed over here and are trading parallel and looking forward to a conversion but possibly let's see and if you look at the 3 hour charts dropping down 2 hour charts are also overbought and trying to uh, go in green again trying to you know, early charts appears overbought a crossover is about to happen hence my drop considering this let me give you the levels today First thing is the no trade zone. A big no trade zone is between 15,800 to 15,920. So, if you have to take a position for either buy or sell, you can take a buy only above 15920 levels specifically you i can say 15923 levels once it goes past 15923 you can take a long position for 15970 that is the nearest resistance and if this is taken i am very bullish on this after this after on us 100 if 15970 is taken 16020 16100 and 16210 is on cards remember anytime if you see it breaking 5970 16000 levels definitely it will fly towards 16200 levels mark my words it will lend directly towards 16200 levels if it goes past 16000 anytime today possibly will it will lend directly towards 16000 plus plus levels on the flip side below 15800 we will see the nearest ration you can take a shot here for 15760 15710 then 15 650 nearest resistance is that around see plus minus 5 10 points you should always keep a cushion Nobody is so accurate and even markets are not so precise that always they will try to achieve. They will always try to achieve plus minus 5, 10, 20 points and then reverse accordingly. So take a position accordingly. Always keep a stop loss in place. After that directly to lend towards 15,510 levels. Below that sky is the limit. And beyond 16,10 also sky is the limit. So take your positions accordingly between 15,800 to 15,920 levels. I will recommend you to not take a position and hold it for long only enjoy the swings but beyond this probably we might see 16200 it appears uh, the slope is suggestive that it might hit towards 16200 today so this is all for us 100 now let's move towards us 30 <coughs> US 30 trading flat at 36,300 and similar formation on US 30 right now. You can see <coughs> on an hourly charts, it is trying to trade. However, the channel is getting narrowed down here. So the high is right now limited at around 36,350, 36,400 zone and the low, the uh, 
ग्राउंड इज ओपन टिल थर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड हैंस इट माइट ट्राई टू ड्रॉप टिल थर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड एंड देन प्रोबेबली ट्राई टू रिट्रेस बैक अगेन टूवर्स थर्टी सिक्स फोर हंड्रेड जोन एंड बियॉन्ड थर्टी सिक्स फोर हंड्रेड इट विल डेफिनेटली ट्राई टू हिट थर्टी सिक्स फाइव फिफ्टी एंड देन दिस जोन टूवर्स थर्टी सिक्स एट हंड्रेड कैन बी सीन बट दिस इज जस्ट ऑन एन आरली चार्ट लेट्स एव लुक एट द डिफरेंट टाइम फ्रेम्स ऑन अ टू आर चार्ट लेट्स एव ए क्लोजर लुक and you can see the lows are well connected here however the highs are also well connected that this is trying to get narrow and probably once it breaks this zone at 36400 definitely it will try to hit back towards 36550 and then beyond that the sky is the limit and uh, probably see right now it is trying to trade here symmetry if you try to take it might try to land towards 36600 also on the flip side now you can see that if you take a symmetry out of here you might see it dropping once again so till the time it is below 36370 levels probably we might see it dropping again uh, towards 36000 and probably this zone at 36100 might provide a support then this zone at 36000 will come into picture and it will complete the drop and try to retrace from there this is one probability which might happen till the time it remains below 36370 36400 zone any time it goes past 36400 next target is 36500 550 then 600 plus plus levels and in fact 36800 cannot be denied let's have a look at the 3r charts on the 3r charts you will find similar formation and on the narrow time frame you will find that it is trying to narrow any breakdown breakout beyond this 36370 definitely it will try to fly, fly past 36500 and then plus plus levels how far this could go it will try to hit the high see first it has to cross 36370 once it crosses this that's then the next landing area is directly towards 36500 and then towards 36600 levels also can be achieved probably it might try to come back in this zone somewhere that is at around 36400 it has to come out of this zone that then it will try to land towards 36600 and then 800 can be seen and till the time it is below 36400 we might see a good sharp drop with the data we might see it landing see also on the 4 hour charts if you connect the lows 36000 is the low also if you connect the highs it is trying to narrow it down and hence any breakout beyond 36400 very good indication that it might try to Com complete this journey till thirty six five hundred and then towards thirty six seven hundred, probably. So any breakout beyond thirty six four hundred, very good time to go long for thirty six four hundred and seven hundred levels. On the daily charts, on the daily charts, you will find that similar formation reversal candle down there, and after this drop, trying to reverse. Uh, this is what i showed yesterday also probably it is trying to complete this journey first target 36500 and then <coughs> uh, see the higher highs but i don't find that this month it is going to do it again but yes 36500 to 36700 cannot be denied of it might achieve this before trying to take a drop also you must see on the daily time frames that if you see the lows are well connected if you see the highs are well connected so if it tries to go past this 37000 plus plus levels can again be seen because this is the channel it is trying to honor and hence might trade in this any breakout down below 35 800 35700 zone very good level to go short for 35000 and in fact can go below 34000 levels till the time now it is beyond 35700 we can expect it to hit back again towards higher highs probably it might try to achieve this it is showing a reversal here and hence any breakout beyond 36400 very good level to go long on us 30 let's have a look at the indicators now on the indicators on you will find that here trying to get a support i told in my daily analysis also 35700 600 zone provide a very strong support now for me 36200 36100 zone a very strong support zone if it breaks 36100 200 then probably we can go short that is the level below, below which one can expect it to go short or at the same time beyond 36400 definitely it will try to land towards 36600 and plus plus levels the dpo is in buy zone the stochastic was trading at bottom trying to reverse with couple of green candles the macd lines are have crossed over and are trading red 
hence any crossover beyond this zone will only uh, if this crossover will only bring them into buy zone or uh, will only be make sense to tell that markets are entering into a bullish territory again and if you look at the four hour charts on the four hour charts similar formation on the four hour charts you will find that there is a strong resistance lying at around 36380 to 36400 zone beyond that it will try to take a little resistance at 36440 after that definitely it will head back towards 36500 and 36600 zone also on the downside there is a support available at 36200 and 36280 uh, breaking 36280 you can try to go short for 36240 and uh, 36230 and then it will try to take a support at 36170 below that it will land break heavily towards 36100 then towards 36000 and 35970 below that i will be extremely bearish for the day and i will expect it to break considerably towards 35800 and then we can expect 35500 and below levels also so i'll give you the levels just bear with me for a couple more minutes and the stochastic is overbought remember friends on a four hour chart the stochastic is overbought this is one indication that but yes it can sustain a little uh, however this is one indication where you might see that uh indicative of a drop can be foreseen but the MACD lines are on a buy zone the rsi is comfortable Considering this, let me give you the levels to trade for. <coughs> it is going to be a broad level for 36.380 is the level. Beyond that, you can go, you can take a long for 36.440. Thirty six five hundred, thirty six five fifty, thirty six six hundred. After that, it will directly land towards thirty six seven ten and thirty six eight hundred levels. On the flip side, once it drops, once it drops below thirty six two hundred sixty, here you can take a short for thirty six two hundred thirty, the nearest support. Then thirty six two hundred, thirty six two hundred. Below that, I will expect it to get a support at thirty six one hundred forty. Thirty six zero six zero thirty five nine seventy. After that, I will expect it to land towards thirty five nine hundred, and same thirty five nine hundred, thirty five eight hundred, and then thirty five seven hundred. Below thirty five seven hundred, definitely this zone breaking thirty five eight hundred seven hundred zone and sustaining it below definitely will be extremely bearish. However, I expect that it might try to. Uh, break on the upside let's see what happens let's see uh, what is going to happen today don't forget to like share subscribe and comment friends thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead reach out to me via telegram my telegram id telegram channel link and email id is mentioned in the description reach out to me for any of your trading and training related guys thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead. thank you